Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the New Orleans Saints next on Madden NFL 24. From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Superdome in New Orleans. Today, it's the preseason opener for these two teams, and it should be a good one, as it'll be the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time, but admit it, you're the same as me. When you were working out, when you were doing things, you thought about football, didn't you? And you couldn't wait to be back up here again. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway from the Superdome. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Play action, now it's Carr. And the Chiefs are gonna get him. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. So much for coming out throwing as it leads to an early second down and long. Here's Carr. Looking middle and it's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. up for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On the return, it's James. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. So here come the defending champs, led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. And that's really good field position they were given. Now, nothing's a gimme. We know that. But I know his goal, have the field goal kicker just stay on the bench. They want to put it in the end zone and get six out of this one. If they don't, I think it'll feel like a disappointment. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Tony, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. 
Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stuff it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. They got it done. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Here's Carr to throw. And he's taken down. A chief sack. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. On third and long, it's Carr. Under pressure, they got him again. Trent McDuffie providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, They've got no chance to win this game. Here comes the Saints punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Here's James returning. So a change of possession here on the punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Hey, let's face it. You can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 34. On third down, it's Pacheco. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Mahomes now on first down. It's Kelsey on the ground. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. And it's caught. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Here's Pacheco, and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. 
A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chiefs have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 14 to nothing. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. Send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Thousand yard rusher for the first time last year. This is Jamal Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now it's the backup, Winston. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. He tried to buy some time to the right. So, Charles, when a guy gets out of the pocket, what's the focus of the quarterback? Most of them keep their eyes downfield. They want to try and make a play throwing the ball. But some of them, they want to tuck it and go. But when they scramble, in this case, as you said, to the right, you're cutting the field in half. So good defenses kind of can converge in that spot, and they don't give you much territory to throw the ball. He had nowhere to go with it. Ends up getting the ball stripped. Gabbert now, after the fumble recovery. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Yeah, the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Edwards Alaire going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Again, Edwards Alaire. But he will lose yardage here. Back to the four yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball a third time, but it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. Third and goal for Gabbard. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. Butker's kick here is good. 
Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Here's Winston. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On third down, Winston. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. KC's offense ready to take over. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Gabbard on first down. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact That's may have come too early. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag oh, comes first. out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. First down, Gabbard. Looking for a slot man, and he's got him. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. So no gain on the play, and now it's third and three. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Noah Gray from four yards out. And the Chiefs are able to add on to their first half lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Right 
Extra point by Butker is on target. And the route is on here in this first half. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Winston. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they will bottle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day. In our game, most of the starters have made their cameo and departed, but plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Let's go now. Let's go. Second half starts with a run by Edwards Alaire. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Play action now. Gabbard. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Out of the gun, Gabbard. Got his man complete, Moore. And he will have a Chiefs first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. On first and 10, Gabbard. He'll complete this one to Watson. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild, and here's another completion for good yardage. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. Down to about the 32. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. A second down throw for Gabbard. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. 
On third down, Gabbard. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Butker's kick here is good, and the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Seven yards there at a first down. Jameis to throw it. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. And now they're faced with a third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Edwards Alaire on the counter. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. We have played three quarters. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage in here. 
They got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. On third down, here's Edwards Hilaire. And he's got Rome. Still going inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. 53 yards. And the Chiefs start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Butker now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now the Saints coming back out ready to go for this next drive. And certainly this, not the performance that they were hoping for to begin the exhibition season, but still plenty to watch for in this fourth quarter. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time, multiple guys get to it. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Returnable here from the 38. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. It has been a dream start to the preseason thus far as they look to finish things strong in the fourth quarter. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Saints' seven-yard line. 117 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll run with Edwards Alaire. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. But now he appears to be in some pain. Boy, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. From the two now, second and goal. Gabbert now. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. 
Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching the their execution throughout this contest. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Here comes the Saints punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. This is fielded at the 27. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. They lead big. Quite the kickoff, really, to this exhibition schedule as they start once more with a first and ten. They run with Samaje's younger cousin. This is LaMichael Pirine. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and five. Again, here's P. Ryan. They find some open field here. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Now a carry for Piran. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Now P. Ryan. And despite the good footwork, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Gabbard. And that will be incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. 
Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, after incompletions on first and second down, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. To throw, Winston. And the Chiefs are going to get him. To Sean Wharton. He's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Partner, my vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits this front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points, an absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. And they will take a knee here. Charles, when you look at the stat sheet, you realize that both sides of the ball were so dominant in this game. And on offense, not only did they score it, but they did it through the air as well as on the ground. Everything was working. And you know that the guys who scored the touchdowns, who contributed that way, that threw them or ran them, they're going to find our cameras and have a big grin for them. But I hope our cameras find that offensive line. How versatile were they? Move the ball on the ground, move people so they could run it, and then protected their passers so they could throw it. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.